take responsibility Macron to demand UK open borders to Calais migrants and pay more. Mr Macron is expected to urge the Prime Minister to allow lone children as well as adult migrants with family members in the UK to cross the Channel. Estimates on the number of migrants in Calais range from 401,000, the majority of whom have traveled from Iraq, Afghanistan, Eritrea and Ethiopia. Following the crackdown on the migrant camp dubbed the Jungle in October 2016, migrants in the region have struggled to find shelter and face routine raids by police if found sleeping rough. Mr Macron is reported to be willing to give approval to a favorable Brexit trade deal if the nation assists in housing the migrants. The French centrist is also set to demand the UK pay more for improved border security across the Channel, a move which is expected to receive approval from Mrs May. The potential payout will add to the pound 124 million British taxpayers have handed over in the last three years for security in Calais. Interior Minister Gerard Collum said it was time for Britain to take responsibility for a certain number of costs and for a greater number of people by virtue of the reception of refugees and lone children he added, there will always be migrants who want to go to England. Those who are still sleeping outside don't want to present themselves to asylum centres because they have no intention of asking for asylum in France. Mr. Callum is set to join the French president in Calais tomorrow before moving on to talks with Mrs. May and Sandringham on Thursday. The prime minister is said to be resistant to the call to focus on migration during Thursday's talks, which are also set to look at British involvement in the president's European intervention initiative, I, as well as issues surrounding Brexit. While yet to be formalized. The IA is seen by many as an attempt to supersede both the EU and NATO by creating a European army capable of being rapidly deployed on behalf of continental nations. Mr Macron announced his plans for the creation of the IA last September as part of his proposals for sweeping reforms to the European Union, and is believed to see British involvement as vital for the project. The UK currently spends more on defence than any other European nation. Paying out pound 36 billion last year compared to France's pound 32 billion. Speaking to the Financial Times, defense analyst Francis Tusa said, Macron realizes that any European initiative for the foreseeable future will not work without UK presence. He is a pragmatist. His military are telling him, if you want this to work, then you need the Brits involved. However the plans are likely to concern UK military officials who have long been concerned over pushes to create a European army. Mr Macron's plan differs from PESCO, the EU's new defence initiative which has been branded as a lunge by the bloc towards creating an EU army. PESCO focuses on military capability across the bloc dash however President Macron's vision allows for closer cooperation and quick deployment of forces from around the continent. Mr Macron described the initiative last year as a common intervention force, allowing European countries to better integrate our armed forces at every stage. However his plans are light on the details, with no clear sign of who could join the defense program and how large the military force will become. An Mott spokesperson said, The UK is fully committed to the security of Europe and we continue to preserve a close relationship with our European allies.